All right, so this is going to be a review of the Simmons SD1200 kit. Now, this is the expanded kit with the extra tom and extra symbol. There's uh, two options when you buy them. You can buy it as a standard five-piece kit, basically, with the two symbols, the ride symbol, the crash symbol, the hi-hat. Uh, or you can buy it with the extra tom and extra crash. Or you can buy those after the fact as well. Simmons did send me this kit, and so... They actually sent me the standard kit first and then they sent me the extra pads. So some of my videos I don't have the extra pads on. I'm actually using like a ruling symbol or something or some other pads or one from this kit over here. So if you see different videos I have, that's why. Anyways, so we're going to play some sounds, play some more sounds. We'll go over the sound modules and stuff like that and go over the pads and everything. So these are all dual, uh, dual trigger pads, the toms and the snare. And this is a 12 inch snare drum pad. It comes on a stand, there's no mount for it. It comes with the stand. We also have two eight inch toms up here and we have a 10 inch tom and the additional 10 inch tom depending on how you buy the package. The pads themselves, let's get it, they're like bluish color, very nice. They're plastic I believe and then the rims are like regular rims or whatever. And then you have the rubber on top and then just the mesh heads here two ply mesh heads. The symbols on this kit I really like because this is a you know a full size rubber whatever you want to call it rather as opposed to just this part being the trigger. And it's a free zone ride so we have the bell you know, and everything and the crashes are uh, really cool as well they're all the way around. The crash and the hi-hat symbols are pretty much this, you know the same symbols just on different instruments. And they're all chokeable. You can choke these things that are really great sounding with that. Uh, the kick drum pedal here has a mesh head on it, but it's just really a rubber pad be behind that. I'm guessing it's rubber. I'm not sure exactly what it is. And then we have the hi-hat kick pedal here, which is very cool as well. It's very similar to the 600 series. Now the 600 series does come with a foot pedal, but this one does not, the 1200. So there's that too. Let's take a look at the sound module. The drum module itself has some really cool features. So on the front panel here, we have our kick selector. And we have 50 drum kits, by the way, in this one. And 25 user kits that you can uh, program as well for yourself. And you just dial this knob right here. It has a little picture of the, the drums, different settings. You can do tuning and stuff like that. Filter shape, high EQ, low EQ, and you can do that all right here. Um, there's different effects like the tuning. You can just do the whole drum kit with one touch of a knob here, and we'll do some demos of that. There's a filter. There's a shape. This is kind of like a noise gate. It really cuts out the uh, decay of the drums. You could kind of make your acoustic drums sound like electronic ones if you want that kind of way. It's kind of neat. And we have a high EQ and a low EQ. And then you just touch this thing here, and all of a sudden we have faders for the ride, the fourth tom, the crash two, coming mint. Um, I guess that was not anything, but then you have this the fader for the kick drum, snare toms, hi hat, and crash. So all kind of little features there as well. Um, the Bluetooth is really cool because you can connect it to your iPad, which by the way has a stand here. It'll stand in the back of the module. You can put an iPad or iPhone or whatever tablet you got. And you can connect wirelessly to cord MIDI into like GarageBand or whatever. <clears throat> That's really cool. They also have an app, the Simmons app, that you might want to try to get with additional parameters as well. It's a free app. You just download it from the iOS store. And you connect that with the Bluetooth as well. Kit selection, song selection, utility for advanced features, uh, exit, tempo, different stuff like that. So on, on the side here, then we have our headphone jack, headphone mix, and we have a master volume. And then on the back panel, power button, power cord, USB to go to a computer or whatever. We also have MIDI in and out, which is a really cool feature. Um, let's say you have a different um, you know, drum kit or something that has the MIDI in and out. You could trigger the sounds from that module or use this module to trigger the sounds from those pads. Um, 
So that's pretty cool. Then we have an auxiliary in. So if you want to do some backing tracks from your phone or whatever, there's a level for that. And then we have the right outputs and stereo output, left and right, to go to a PA system or whatever else you want to put it out to. Drum monitor. And we have a USB in here as well. Because you can't put your own sounds in here. I think there's 24, 28 megabytes or of sounds you can put in yourself. And then we have the expansion um, pads, Tom 4 and Crash 2 that, like I said, do not come with it, but I've, I've added them on. And of course, you know, the standard snake for the drum module then come, comes with a bunch of these ties as well.
Oh yeah! Hey. 